Okay, so let's find another prime factorization of a number using the method, uh, using the factor tree method. So let's pick it a little bigger number this time. Let's go ahead and use the number hmm, 72. Let's go ahead and start a factor tree. What times what equals 72? Well, I know 9 times 8. Okay, and I'm looking at the 9 and the 8, and those are not prime numbers, so I know I could keep going here. So let's see, what times what equals 9? I know 3 times 3. And for 8, let's see, I know 2 times 4. This is prime number, this is a prime number, that's a prime number, so I know that 4 can still be broken down into 2 times 2. Okay, so again, now I have all prime numbers just tells me again that I have the longest possible factor string of 72 which and they are prime numbers so this tells me it is the prime factorization so I'll go ahead and write that 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 now I'm gonna go a step further and use exponents to do this a little, uh, to show this in shorthand so I know there's two threes, so that is three squared times, I have one, two, three twos, so that's going to be two cubed equals 72. So here's the prime factorization of 72, which is three squared times two cubed equals 72.